Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. It is Saturday, March 21st, 2020, and today's video uh, is going to be focused on water. And so what I like to carry for a long-term access to clean drinking water is the Lifesaver uh, Jerry can. This is the uh, 10,000 liter can, and there's a 10,000 liter and a 20,000 liter. The 10,000 liter is the one pictured here. The only difference with these cans, the size is the same. The amount of, uh, amount of water they hold is the same. It's the filter that's different. The 20,000 liter filter does 20,000 liters of water. This one will do 10,000 or around what? 2,500 2, gallons of water. So this is one of the only filters that I've seen on the market that filters out uh, viruses as well as bacteria and other contaminants and also viruses. So this is key to have uh, for a family, uh, for a long-term access to clean drinking water. If your water, uh, your regular tap water wasn't working, this would be a primary and key um, system to have. So what you do here, and I saw a lot of videos on YouTube on this and not many of them have the process of priming this. So when you, when you get this filter, when you get this system, the filter is coated with a glycerin type um, material and that's to, um, that's to keep it preserved while it's in shipment. Now some of these filters come in foil sealed containers like um, this one here. So these are the charcoal Fil uh, pre-filters you could put in and they're sealed and so these are good for 10 years so if you buy extra filters for this system you could buy them in in the foil sealed and they're good for several years and it'll be dated on here um, so if you buy it and it's not in the foil seal you have three years in which to activate this so in order to activate it it's simple uh, I posted a couple of videos in here showing you the flow rate and everything. But uh, you fill your jerry can up with water. You let it sit for 10 minutes. You dump it out. You fill it right from here. This is the pump mechanism. You fill your water right from here. And you screw it back on. You let it sit. That's to moisten the filter. 
The filter is on this side of the can where the spout is and it goes all the way down to the bottom of the can. So when you take off your spout mechanism here that you see here, the filter medium is right here. And so that goes all the way down to the bottom of the can. Okay? I have water in this can right now. So once you fill the can and let it sit for 10 minutes, you then uh, dump that out. You fill it halfway. And so when you're filling it, you can see these, these tie-down areas here, if you wanted to tie this down, they're indented inside the can. You can see the halfway mark. You fill it with water halfway. You put this back on. You pump it. 10 to 15 times, you then lay the system on its side, you activate the pump, the, uh, you press this in, or you could press it in and turn it and it'll be continuous on, and you let that water go through the filter mechanism. Looks like I just activated it. <laughs> Sorry about that. You let that water go through the... All right, guys, so here is the jerry can on its side. Once you put it on its side, here is your spout. Right here. Okay? Your spout can be depressed. It'll, the water will come out. Or you could depress it and turn it according to the arrow here and it'll be continuous on, okay? So once you've pumped it 10 to 15 times, and I already pumped this about 15 times, okay? You can depress this, do it with my left hand here, and you're gonna get an output of about a liter a minute, I think it is. Or you depress it and turn it, and it locks into place, and now you have continuous water flow. Another good thing about this system when I bought it is I purchased the extra carbon filters, which I don't have in there now. They go inside the lip of the this area here where the water comes out. Uh, I bought an extra I bought an extra lid and spout in case this one got bumped around and broke. So I have an extra one. And another thing you're going to need if you're going to plan on using this as a shower, there's a small O-ring that goes right here. I'll see if I can get a close-up. There's a small O-ring that goes right here. That's a quick connect here. And I'm sure you could get more of these in the hardware store. I need to go get some more because I only have one. And what that gives you the ability now is with your shower attachment or hand washing or rinsing or dishwashing, whatever you're going to use this for, this clips into this, I'll show you, this quick connects, that quick connects into your, it's got a, just a little push button here, comes off, goes on. That's what that O-ring is for so you don't lose, um, so it doesn't leak. And so with the can straight up or on its side, you should be able to activate your continuous on and the shower should work. Here it goes. So you can rinse your hands off, wash the dog, wash your hair, take a shower and you can pump this system up and your flow rate gets better as the filter gets used. That's pretty good shower guys. You could set this up, clip it somewhere, and get under it, shower, rinse off, do dishes, and then when you're done, you can simply shut the valve off, get the pressure out, disconnect it, and now you can use this uh, for drinking water or to fill up other vessels. Let's say I wanted to fill this glass bottle up, I can place it under here. 
turn on my valve. Show you guys this filling up here. So this is a what 16 ounce bottle. That's filling up pretty quick, guys. There's a bottle of water for somebody in your group. You can cap these off, fill them up, put them aside. There's your daily water for everybody um, in your group or in your household. And this water can be taken from a lake, a stream, a local water source, wherever you have to go. People have gone on safari with this thing, overland, um, at 2,500 gallons for a family of two or three or four. You're looking at uh, you know, a lot of length of time that you could have fresh drinking water. And guys, this is a game changer. If there's no drinking water available and you have something like the Lifesaver system, uh, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, this system's going to run you uh, for the initial setup without any of the extras like the shower attachment. It's going to run you about $189 to $200. They're all sold out right now. I've been checking online. And the other one with the 20,000 liter uh, filter, is going to run you a little over 200 or 220, I think, something like that. Um, and then you could buy extra filters. You could buy extra charcoals. You could buy extra O-rings. You could buy extra attachments. I bought the shower attachment, which I thought was necessary, especially in my van or on the road. Um, if the water, the tap doesn't work, you've got something like this. I just keep everything in one of these. Amazon basic zip pouches all my stuff's together for this. I just gonna take this on the road when I go back to Washington DC this week and uh, I've got this full I'm gonna keep water in it and I've got a clean source of filtration wherever I need it now when you're gonna store this and not use it you still have to keep at least the bottom of this filled with water about an inch so the filter mechanism uh, can stay moist. Without it staying moist, it does not work. So guys, this is a, the Lifesaver system is a game changer in, in my book. Um, to have something like this is just, um, to me, is just uh, off the charts. You need something like this. If the taps go out, something happens to the water, it gets contaminated, there's a boil alert. You could still get water from your tap, put it in here, and it'll filter out whatever is bad from your tap. So, uh, and again, at 10,000 liters, guys, you're good to go. So I'll put the specs in the description box, but your water filtration and access is key. You could keep drums filled in your house or bins filled. There's only uh, so much room you have for storage of water, but then for ongoing clean water, the Lifesaver Jerry Can is definitely probably the best product on the market. They've got serial numbers when they were made. It's all stamped right here. And um, these are very strong, well-made, thick Jerry Cans. They could be tied down. They can be lasso, you know, lashed down, put on their side, standing straight up. And uh, guys... Uh, something like this is really, really a lifesaver, and that's hence the name, lifesaver. These are used in the, in the field in Africa for water relief. They have, um, if you watch their videos, you can see this. Just an amazing company, I think, and an amazing filter uh, mechanism that's in here and what it does. Remember, uh, bacteria and viruses, 99.9%, .9%, which is off the charts, guys. Nothing on the market comes close to this. I also have the small um, one quart size lifesaver that I, I keep in the van and that has also the same type of filtering mechanism in here in it and you could get water on the go with that as well if you're on foot. But for base camp this is the way to go. The lifesaver jerry can. Thanks for joining me guys. Questions, comments, let me know. Take care. Stay ready. Anthony signing off.